Today, we will examine some artwork by a 17th century Dutch still life painter named Clara Peters. Clara Peters was a Flemish artist known for her meticulous brushwork, sophisticated arrangement of materials, the ability to capture realistic details and textures in the various objects she painted. She was born in Antwerp, Belgium in 1597, then pursued her career as a professional artist in the Dutch Republic. Although Peters was one of the finest still life painters of any age, very little is actually known about her life. Let's take a moment to review exactly what a still life painting is. A still life painting is one that focuses on arranged objects. The subject matter is inanimate and never moves. Still life art involves painting items that are arranged and displayed specifically for the intention of creating a piece of art. Generally, the artist will arrange household items such as tableware, candles, flowers, glassware, as well as personal items, usually for the purpose of creating an aesthetically pleasing composition, but occasionally the items chosen will have spiritual or metaphorical significance. Clara Peters' earliest dated paintings from 1607 to 1608 were known as banquet paintings. These were small, detailed images representing food and drink. These paintings also contained displays of goblets, ceramic vessels, tableware, and flowers, amongst other things. However, while most artists use still life arrangements simply to practice their technique or to focus on an aesthetic composition, Peters took things a bit further. She actually innovated the technique of incorporating portraiture within these paintings. Perhaps she had no other option to her hyper-realistic approach, but oftentimes you can actually see the artist's self-portrait within the reflections of the very objects she was painting. Clara Peters was a member of the Dutch Reformed Protestant Church. In this faith, religious imagery was forbidden. Artists would get around this issue by using symbolism, allegories, and visual metaphors within their works. Typically, a still life does not contain portraits of living beings. However, Peters often did just that. Not only did she include her own self-portrait within the reflections of objects, but she would occasionally include animals such as birds, monkeys, and house cats. Sometimes even creatures such as rodents and insects. Was this just to make a portrait more interesting, or could there have been some symbolic meanings behind their inclusion? Take for example this painting. For sure this could have been her pet house cat. Many people of this era had pet cats, not only for companionship, but as a way to control rodent infestation. So the cat itself is not unusual. However, if she did not want the cat in the painting, she could have simply just not painted him. Was the presence of the cat used solely to create a whimsical, personal element? Or could the cat have been included for other reasons? 
Perhaps Peters was comparing and contrasting the animals we consume with the animals we cherish. Is there much of a difference? Could she have been making a statement about how we view life and death? I think a painting like this can be interpreted in different ways by different viewers. This is one of Clara Peter's earliest known works. Even early on, she demonstrates her exceptional skill in creating varied surfaces, textures, and optical properties of the objects displayed. But if we look closely, perhaps there's more to it. This is actually a Vanitas. Vanitas is a particular type of still life painting that includes various symbolic objects designed to remind the viewer of their mortality and of the worthlessness of goods and pleasures of the earthly realm. As we analyze this next painting, let's keep in mind the concept of Vanitas. The food shown here is decadent. It's not necessarily consumed for nutritional needs, but rather indulgence. The ring is a sign of wealth and relationships things we value while we're here on earth. The fly can be symbolic of earthly decay, and the burning candle can be an allegory for the passage of time and how our life shortens and eventually extinguishes. A sprig of rosemary symbolizes our memories due to its long-lasting scent, which eventually fades. Painting is an example of a Vanitas, a symbolic representation of the limits of our earthly existence. Although Clara Peters was one of the only female artists of the 17th century to specialize in still life paintings, her distinction in the art world is due less to her gender and more to the complete mastery of her painting style. In other words, it's not she's good for a woman, but rather she was a highly skilled painter, comparable with the best artists of her time. Said, there's not a lot known about Clara Peters many people never even heard of her. However, after viewing her paintings, I think anyone, from the casual art enthusiast to the most prestigious art historian, can agree that Clara Peters is an artist you should know.